Hey kids, Treacle here, welcome back. Today we are discussing and rating Mariah's 1995 album, Daydream. Daydream was released in 1995 and it was a smash hit for Mariah thanks to singles Fantasy, Always Be My Baby and One Sweet Day, all of which were number ones for her in America. There are so many amazing songs but it does stand on really strong foundations having those three singles take her to the number one spot yet again. It's a very special album to me because it was my very first Mariah album. I met Mariah the year before, I met her music the year before through All I Want For Christmas Is You, which I continue to play once Christmas 94 was over. I remember playing it into, well, early 95, summer 95, whatever. I just kept that song playing. So um, it was actually my mother who bought me the Daydream album on cassette the year it came out in 95 because she thought I might like it because I'd liked Mariah's Christmas song and she wasn't wrong. So my memories of playing Daydream are on my um, cassette Walkman and it would be something I'd listen to when I went to bed at night. Um, for a long time I was mostly familiar with side A because I would fall asleep and I wouldn't always play side B. Um, so the first half of the album was more familiar to me. But yeah, when I think of Daydream, I think of being 10, 11 years old and listening to the album and fall in love with songs like Open Arms, One Sweet Day, Always Been My Baby, Underneath the Stars, um, those kind of jams on uh, side A. The first category is songs, and that's simply how much I enjoy the songs on this album. It's the 25th anniversary of Daydream this year, and that blows my mind because there were songs I still listen to regularly. There are several songs that I still have on different playlists. Um, Fantasy never goes down badly at any party playlist. Um, I do love a lot of the remixes of Fantasy, but I'm gonna judge this album on what's included on the album listing, so the, um, the regular album version. Underneath the Stars is one of my favorite songs ever by Mariah. Um, I'm so, so excited that she's just announced she has found the video that was shot in Paris and London that's been lost for 25 years. So we're finally going to have a music video for a song that I've been listening to for 25 years. That blows my mind, that's gonna be incredible. But I really, really love Underneath the Stars. It paints such a vivid picture. Um, so how Mariah brings that picture to, to life now with the music video is gonna be so interesting. One Sweet Day, a massive, massive anthem. That duet with Boys to Men, I mean, that was, set in history and uh, that was set in records it was number one for 16 consecutive weeks it was, was i think it was consecutive weeks but 16 weeks it was number one for absolutely amazing i love her cover of open arms i am free is really really sweet i even really enjoy the daydream interlude later on in the album forever as a schmaltzy ballad um i really loved my schmaltzy ballads at the time i still love forever but um back in the day i really really loved that um looking in one of Mariah's most personal songs, a fantastic example of her skills as a songwriter. I'm interested whether she's gonna open up a little bit about that in her memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, out September 29th, because she's kind of said in the past a couple of times that she got in trouble or light trouble um, for including that song on the album because of the lyrics and the message that it gives across, but it's so haunting, it's so beautiful. I think many of us as hardcore fans can apply that to our own lives at several points in our life. Um, it's one of those songs that I and many of you, I'm sure, really, really connect with. So, Ramble Over, I am so in love with the songs on this album. I still play a lot of them. I'm gonna give the songs for Daydream 8.5. After songs, we have lyrics. So this is my opinion on how well the, the story is told through the lyrics of the song, how much I get from them when I'm just looking at the lyrics isolated away from the songs themselves. Um, as I said before, there's some beautiful, picturesque storytelling going on, something that gets even stronger with the next album, Butterfly, but we'll talk about that next week. Um, within Daydream, there are songs that I think are so well written, and a lot of that comes down to the lyrics, and specifically, again, One Sweet Day, um, Looking In, and Underneath the Stars are just masterpieces. Um, I think this is, so far, her strongest album lyrically, and I'm giving it an eight. Next up is vocals. How much do I enjoy the vocal offerings on this album? And I'm going to give it an eight out of 10, 
Daydream is where Mariah was at her prime, a lot of people will say, and I certainly do agree. Her voice is really, really strong. Live performances, concert footage is absolutely amazing from this era in her career. I need to save some room later for other albums when she gives us different things with her voice and there's different flavors and things like that, but it is a very strong album vocally and I'm giving it eight. Unity is next, and by this I'm considering how well the album flows from start to finish, how well it works as a single body of work. Um, is it an album that I will happily listen to from top to bottom, or is it something that I want to shuffle and kind of move the tracks around? For me, Daydream is one of the stronger examples of how well an album flows. I think she really takes us through a journey. Um, we can paint all kinds of different narratives through the album, but from top to bottom, it really does flow well. I feel like maybe I am biased with this because I, I, I did listen to it top to bottom all the time because this is one of the albums I had on cassette and I would have to listen to in order. I wasn't, you know, fast forwarding and skipping around and stuff. Um, so for me, it's a nine. I'm going to give it a nine because Daydream is an album that I think works top to bottom. That's how I've always enjoyed it. And even still now, 25 years later, I'm going to stand by that nine. When it comes to longevity, I'm considering how well the album has stood the test of time. Has it given us songs and moments that have endured? I think that Daydream really has. Fantasy still goes down a treat wherever you care to play it. One Sweet Day, it held its record for 16 weeks at number one until last summer. So that took 20 odd years to be broken. Always Be My Baby. I think there's certain songs where we're like, oh, it's classic Mariah, and they come back into fashion. People still um, really fangirl over them. She's given more love to things like Always Be My Baby in recent years. Um, there are songs in this album that really still, they still hit with the general public. And I know I still enjoy playing them. This is 25 years later. So when it comes to longevity, Daydream's getting a nine. Adding those scores up, that gives Daydream a total score of 42.5 out of 50, which puts it at the top of my leaderboard currently. I can't say I'm massively surprised. It's the first album, the first Mariah album that I ever owned. I've got such strong emotional connections to it and happy memories, and the songs are just so, so strong. So for now, I'm very happy to see it at the top of the leaderboard. It's no surprise to me. Finally, we have two more things to consider. We have a repeat and a skip. So first up, the repeat. If I had to play one song on the album again, it's going to be Underneath the Stars. It stands up uh, head and shoulders above for me on this album. I love it so much. And I also enjoy the fact that Mariah said a few times it's one of her favorite songs on her back catalog. I really do enjoy it. It's on a couple of bedtime evening playlists. It does get a lot of airtime in this household. So my repeat is Underneath the Stars. Next up, my skip. If you have to pick a song to skip on the album and not listen to, which one is it going to be? Some albums, this is really tough. For me on Daydream, there is, well, there's two that I would consider. I would consider the Daydream interlude because it is only an interlude and it's shorter and everything. Um, and the other one is, is um, Long Ago. I'm actually gonna go with Long Ago because I enjoy the Daydream interlude as a transition moment on the album. I really do enjoy it. Long Ago, is just not my jam. I would love for Slipping Away, the B-side from this era, to have replaced Long Ago or just gone in there, you know, in addition to it. Um, Long Ago for me is just, it's fun because she's starting to explore with um, her R&B roots a little bit more and she's kind of venturing out. Um, Slipping Away was more successful for me, uh, but it didn't make the album, so we can't really talk about that. So Long Ago would be my skip. So to summarize, I'm giving Daydream 42.5 out of 50 and it's currently at the top of my album ranking leaderboard. My repeat would be Underneath the Stars and my skip would be Long Ago. Let me know what you agree with and what you disagree with in the comments. It's all done with love. Everyone has their own preferences. I enjoy and appreciate that. So let me know what your repeat would be and your skip. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's plenty more Mariah videos on my channel. Go and check some of those out. Thanks for joining. I will see you again soon. Cheers. Thanks a lot.